There is eternal life. There is an afterlife. There is life after death, according to the Bible. That when you die, something's going to happen to you. Death is not it. Death is not the end. That the Bible says that there is a heaven through Jesus Christ. And there is a hell by rejecting Jesus Christ. And there's no other. There is no purgatory. There is no reincarnation. There's no Valhalla. There's no paradise. As man would think there's a paradise. There's no utopia. There is a heaven and a new Jerusalem. And that the only way to get to heaven is through Jesus Christ. And outside of Jesus Christ, there will be no heaven. Jesus said he is the door to the sheep. There is no other door. I don't care what man has taught. Because when man does not align with the King James Bible, man is wrong. And you're going to find a lot of priests, rabbis, preachers, whatever their title is, you will find a lot of religious elders in hell. Just because they get up behind a pulpit, just because they get up in the name of God, doesn't mean that they're saved. Second Corinthians chapter 11. And just because if the Lord tarries, they'll be in church tomorrow morning. Does not mean that they will be in heaven when they die. Being a member of clergy... Being a member of a church, going to church, does not save you. Having a preacher preach to you every Saturday morning is not your grounds to say, well, God, we were irritated by the word of God week after week after week after week. I've got to get to heaven by listening to him preach. That don't work. It's not the preaching that will save your soul. It's believing in whom is preached. Jesus Christ. I preach because Jesus said, go into the world and preach the gospel. But me preaching is not going to save your soul. Nope. Well, you know, I've been faithful every week that guy comes and preaches. That's not going to get you to heaven. It's not going to get me to heaven. On April 25th, 1987, I put my faith and belief in Jesus Christ. My name was written down by Jesus Christ. My faith to go from hell to heaven is based upon Jesus Christ. 
I wasn't at a church, I was at a coffee table where I met Jesus Christ. And you can meet Jesus Christ here at Mongolia and Wall Street and Daytona Beach and believe that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the light. The Lamb of God, which will can take away your sin, if you put your faith and trust in that, that is the means of salvation. Well, preacher, you know, I go to church. And if church is your salvation, you'll die and go to hell. Well, church, my pastor, my rabbi, my priest, my whatever, my guru. And if your faith and trust is in clergy, you'll die and go to hell. You know, preacher, I was baptized when I was... And if baptism is your faith, and you will die and go to hell because baptism can't save you. Now, if you have called upon and you have sought out the biblical Jesus to save your soul, to cleanse you of your sin, and your faith and belief in Jesus Christ alone, plus nothing. The Bible says when you die, you'll be absent from this body and present with the Lord. That's, that's quicker than quick to be quick to be quick. You could be one moment here in this miserable, sin-cursed world and the next minute open your eyes and see Jesus. Or there may be an event that we may be, pre we may be preaching and being here right now. And if God tells Jesus to call his bride, the only thing you're going to see is clothes or material things, but you will not see us no more. What the Christians call the rapture. You know, there's coming a time that Christians, there will be a series of Christians that will never taste death. When the rapture happens, and I have no idea when the rapture is going to, it could happen any second. It can happen any day, any week, any month. Any year, but there's a moment that the church will be called away. And if you do die as a Christian, faith and belief in Jesus Christ alone, you'll be absent from the body and present with Lord in the heaven. And at the rapture, your body will be called out of the grave that it's in. It's not a zombie apocalypse. It's the rising of the ones that have called upon Jesus Christ to save their soul. And if you're not saved, you have never put your faith in Jesus. You have put your faith and trust in another Jesus. You will die and in Luke 16, the Bible says you will wake up in hell being in torments forever. At the moment, if, if you have never trusted and rejected Jesus, at the moment that Jesus calls his bride away, you'll be left behind. You won't go. Well, Jesus, I was a member of XYZ Church. I can't save you. Jesus, I was baptized. Baptism can't save you. Jesus, Mary. Mary can't save you. There's no hope in the Pope. I gave money. Money can't save you. There is nothing that can save your soul 
but the finished work in the blood of Jesus Christ. Nothing. There's no back door to heaven. There is the door to heaven. And the door to heaven is Jesus. And if you don't go through the door, you will enter in heaven, enter into hell. And in hell, there's no fire door. There's no fire escape. You stay and remain. Because you have chosen to reject Jesus Christ.